Welcome to Simply Apple. And do you notice anything different by looking at my screen? Give up? You are looking at Windows 8. However, fear not my Apple friends. I am actually running Windows 8 as a virtual machine on my Mac. As you can see on the screen, I can change the size of the Windows 8 window, and I can even make it go full screen by clicking on the opposing arrows in the upper right corner of the window. I can also switch back and forth between the full screen Windows 8 window and my OS X desktop. In the remainder of this video, I'm going to demonstrate using Windows 8 on a Mac with an application named Parallels 8 Desktop for the Mac. Let me begin by quickly saying that there are a variety of ways to run a Windows 8 on a Mac. However, I have been very satisfied with Parallels. In order to learn more about Parallels, I have provided a link on the screen and in the video description. To install Windows 8 using Parallels, I first had to buy Parallels. Again, all the pricing information can be found on the Parallels website. After installing Parallels, I then set up a virtual machine. Again, you will find tutorials on the Parallels website that will guide you through this process. At this point, I am going to make my Windows 8 window a little larger. It should be noted that when you first install Windows 8, your start menu will look different than mine. I have personalized my start menu in a way that works best for me. I will discuss personalizing your screen later in this video. Back in Windows 8, I'm going to start off by clicking the Internet Explorer tile. As you can see, Internet Explorer opens up and I am currently running Internet Explorer 10. You can see the user interface is quite a bit different. Currently, I am on the download Windows 8 website. Again, Internet Explorer 10 fits in with the new user interface of Windows, but it does take a little bit of time to get used to this new interface. To get back to the start menu on a Windows machine, you would press the Windows key. However, since I'm using Windows 8 on a Mac, I'm going to press the command key to bring me back to the start menu. Back in the Start menu, I'm going to click on the desktop icon. If you are a Windows user, this is the traditional view that many of you may be used to. Again, I'm going to press the Command button on my keyboard to bring me back to the Start menu. I'm going to open another program. This time, I'll open PowerPoint 2013 Preview Edition. With PowerPoint open, I'm going to show you one of the key features of Parallels. If you look at the Mac menu bar at the top of the screen, you will notice some menus for the Parallels desktop. When you click the Parallels desktop menu, one of the options you will find is Preferences. I'm going to zoom in to better view the window. When I click on the Preferences, I now have some options that I can alter, and they appear as tabs in the window, such as General, Shortcuts, USB, Mobile, and Advanced. I'm going to stay in the Shortcuts tab because I love the fact that you can alter and create your own keyboard shortcuts. So a few of the keyboard shortcuts that I set up is that when I press Ctrl C on the keyboard, it will act like a Windows machine and copy the actual content. And when I press Command C, that will bring up a new area of Windows 8 called Charms. I'm going to close this window. And now back in PowerPoint 2013, I'm going to test out my keyboard shortcuts. I have typed the word test into my PowerPoint slide. When I press Command C on my keyboard, the window charms area will appear. Again, this is a new feature of Windows 8. I'm going to highlight the word test and I'm going to go ahead and press Control C on my keyboard. At this point, I've copied it and just to prove that, I'm going to go ahead and select the subtitle area in my PowerPoint slide and press Control V, which is a keyboard shortcut to paste. And as you can see, the copy word has been pasted. I'm going to go ahead and go back to the Windows 8 Start menu by pressing the Command key. If I hover my mouse in the upper right corner of the Windows 8 window, the charms will pop up. If I hover my mouse in the upper left corner of the Windows 8 window, I will see some of the programs I currently have open. And I can switch back and forth between these programs by clicking on their thumbnail. I'm going to go ahead and return to the Start menu by pressing the Command key. You can personalize your Windows 8 Start menu in a variety of ways. For instance, 
If I right click on the Internet Explorer tile, a variety of options become available. I can unpin the tile from the start, I can unpin it from the taskbar, I can uninstall the program, and in this case I can open a new Internet Explorer window. It should be noted that the options that you have in personalizing these tiles vary with each tile. I'm going to go ahead and right click the desktop tile and you can now see one of my options is that I can make this tile larger which takes up more room on my start menu. It also slightly repositions my tiles. That's okay because I can just right click on the desktop tile again and select smaller which will create a smaller tile. In addition, there are some tiles that have a feature called live tiles. You can turn this feature off by simply right clicking on the tile and select turn live tile off. I actually had quite a few of these live tiles turned off for this video such as the mail tile, just to preserve a little privacy. Finally, these tiles can be moved around to a variety of locations, again personalizing your Windows 8 experience. In closing, Windows 8 is not for everybody. In fact, a number of Apple users have no interest in running Windows on their Mac. However, there are some individuals who will have to run Windows for a variety of reasons. This can easily be done by using a program such as Parallels 8 Desktop for the Mac. Again, check out the Parallels link in this video description to learn more about Parallels. And until next time, this is Simply Apple.